Hey guys, so if you know me, you know I love a good bargain. I have always loved finding those hidden affordable gems at the drugstore, but with inflation, as you know, it has become much harder to find truly affordable makeup even at the drugstore. And I've been really curious to see what is still out there that's actually under $5. Back in the day on YouTube, those $5 makeup challenges were super popular. And at one time it was relatively easy to find a full face of drugstore makeup everything being under $5. It has gotten a lot harder, but I've been really pleased to find that there are still some really great affordable gems out there. You kind of just have to dig a little deeper these days. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a bunch of my favorite makeup products that I'm honestly shocked are under $5. Some of these are even under $2. So we have some amazing products to talk about today. Lots of different brands I'm going to cover, but I did want to thank Shop Miss A for sponsoring this first portion of the video. If you haven't heard of Shop Miss A, I definitely recommend checking them out. Out. They are essentially like an online dollar store that sells lots of different makeup. They have a huge selection of makeup that's mostly between one and two dollars. They do even have a section on there for like household and lifestyle products. They have been absolutely lovely to work with and the best part is they basically gave me free reign to decide which products I wanted to talk about in this video. So I tried a bunch of their products and narrowed it down to just like the top, top best of the best products that I found on their site and I'm really excited to share those today. So Shop Miss A has a few different brands on their site. Their main in-house line is called AOA Studio, and that is where I have found the majority of the products that I really love. And most of those products are around like a dollar to a dollar 88. And I really can't believe the quality on these things. So first up, I wanted to share a product that was so highly recommended to me by so many of you guys. If I had a dollar for every comment and DM over the years that I've gotten telling me to try this sponge, I could probably buy a hundred of these sponges. <laughs> these have such a cult following. This is the Paw Paw sponge, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to try this, honestly, but I am here to tell you this absolutely lives up to every bit of hype that it gets. This sponge retails for $1.55. That is the best deal I know of for sponges. It cleans up really well, too. I have probably washed this five or six times at this point. So far, it has not torn. The product always comes out super cleanly. I don't get a bunch of stains in this. It's super, super soft and bouncy. It has that classic teardrop shape, so it's great for getting like right up under the eyes. I use it for my concealer, my foundation. It blends everything out so smoothly, so I'm so happy with this. I'm very glad to have finally tried it. Now I finally know what all the hype is all about. Never in a million years did I think I would find a foundation under $2 that I actually like, let alone two foundations under $2 that I actually like. But here we are. I am so impressed with both of these foundations. Both of these retail for $1.88. They're both from the AOA Studio brand. And the one I'm wearing today is the AOA CC Cream. I have the shade Fair. This is a beautiful, light coverage, glowy skin tint. Perfect for the summertime. This is my kind of foundation in the summer because it's so breathable. It doesn't feel or look heavy on my skin and it doesn't break apart really on my face because it's such a thin lightweight layer to begin with. This has been blowing me away. I love this so much. Now if you're after more of a medium coverage satin finish, the AOA A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation is also incredible. This one, as opposed to the CC Cream, gives more of a satin finish, medium buildable coverage. I, when I apply just one layer of this, I would say I get light medium coverage and then I will just go over the spots on my face where I want a little bit more coverage and I am able to build it up to a nice solid medium. And this gives a beautiful, almost blurred satin finish to my face. It doesn't cling to dry patches, which is what I was kind of worried about because that's really the main issue that I face with most foundations. This just smooths over my dry patches beautifully. I haven't tried this in the winter when I have like severely dry skin, but my skin has still been quite dry this summer and this has been laying on top really nicely. It doesn't feel heavy. Okay, I can't decide if I'm more excited about those foundations or this blush, this liquid blush. So this is the AOA paw paw plush blush and by the way any of the products with the paw paw label on them with those products a portion of the proceeds go to animal charities and then the products with the a plus logo a portion of the proceeds go towards education for kids so the plush blush this is a gel liquid blush another product that retails for a dollar 55 i have not wanted to stop using this blush this is in the shade cumulus and I feel like I'm always looking for a blush that's this kind of color, and they're kind of hard to find. It's this really fun, bright, watermelon red sort of color 
really fun for that sun-kissed summer look. For me, all I need is one dot on each cheek and that is perfect, but this is also a super buildable formula which I think would probably make it work well for a wide range of skin tones because I can definitely build this up to get a really, really bright pigmented blush. All right, you guys know I'm super picky when it comes to bronzer, but I have actually, to my surprise, been loving the AOA Studio Perfect Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer and I have the shade Frappe. I wasn't sure if this was going to be too dark because, you know, I'm really picky about my bronzer tones and if it's too deep, it's not going to work for me. This is the lightest shade that it comes in and this shade actually works great on my skin tone. I like that it doesn't pull orange at all, but it still warms up my complexion, sculpts my face a little bit, and it never looks muddy or just like too dark on my skin tone. So I've been loving this, especially because it is a little bit deeper than some of my other bronzers. Like just for comparison, um, because I have it right here, but the Fenty bronzer and In the Sun, you guys know I love, there's the difference. So you can see the AOA one is just a hair deeper, which has honestly made it great for the summer because in the summertime, I do like to go a little bit more bronzy and this has been perfect. So really pleasantly surprised by this bronzer. All right, and my last Shop Miss A favorite for the video is their magnetic palettes. Their empty magnetic palettes. I have some of my own singles in here, but these are some of the best magnetic palettes I've ever found. It honestly astounds me how expensive empty palettes can be, but these are the most affordable, but also some of the most well-made and sturdy magnetic palettes that I've found. So this is one of their smaller ones. I think it would probably hold, typically hold like nine standard sized singles. These mostly retail for four to five dollars on their site. Now, I also love their large palette, which this one doesn't technically count towards this video because it's seven dollars, but their large palette I also love. This one holds so many shadows. I only have it like half filled right now, but love that one and I love the pattern as well. But I've linked all those products down below along with all the other products that I'm talking about in this video. Definitely make sure to check out Shop Miss A if you are on the hunt for some affordable makeup. Thank you so much to Shop Miss A for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get into some of these other products now. Some of these are products that you've heard me talk about a lot. Others are more new to me. One of my all-time favorite blushes, this would not be a best makeup under $5 video if I did not mention my Essence the blush in the shade Befitting. Mine is looking a little rough these days. I've had it for a while, but shockingly, my packaging has held up really well. I definitely expected it to break by now and it's still going strong. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes, not just for the price point again, but like compared to all of my other blushes in my collection, this one still stands out to me as one of my top favorites. I have the shade Befitting, which is this beautiful, soft, rosy mauve color. And this is that color, I always say, this is the color that just goes with everything. So whenever I'm just not sure what blush to wear or I'm not sure what blush is gonna go with my look, I just use this one because I know it's going to get along well with anything else I have on my face. It has such a nice, like, soft, velvety feel to it. It blends in so incredibly smoothly. You really can't mess this blush up. Also from Essence, one of my favorite summer palettes is the Coral Me Maybe palette. Of all of the little pocket-sized drugstore palettes that have launched over the last few years, I really think this is one of the best. This is the only shade that I've tried from the Essence line, but this is so perfect if you like those kind of nude peachy colors. And it's only $4 for six shades. All six of the shades perform beautifully. The mattes are really like, they have that kind of similar texture to that blush, that just really smooth, velvety sort of feel. All three of the mattes are really easy to work with, very blendable, very pigmented, and the shimmers are gorgeous as well. Today, I just have this shade right here. That's the shade they call Pennies and Dimes, and I have that shade just as a one shadow look today. Just put it all over my lid, blended it up into the crease, such a pretty peachy bronze. Such a unique shade too. I feel like I just don't have a lot of shades quite like that. And that shade really doesn't pull very orangey at all. So you definitely don't have to do a super warm peachy orangey look with this palette. You can, but if you want to stick to a more neutral bronzy color, that one is great. And I also just really love the color selection in here. A lot of mini monochromatic palettes tend to be kind of a one trick pony. Like you can really only get one look with it. But with this one, you can really do a lot of different color combinations. You can go really peachy with these shades. You can get well, like a softer golden peach. You can do 
a more bronze color, you've got a deep brown. There's just a lot of versatility within this little palette. I like that not every look turns out the same. So if you are a peachy nude eyeshadow lover, this palette really is a great bang for your buck. Another affordable pocket palette that I find really impressive is from Hard Candy. This is the Hard Candy Moods Monochromatic Quad in the shade Buzz. So this is a really cute yellow quad. I also have another one of theirs in the shade Purr, which is a nice like smoky mauve palette. Really excited to wear this in the fall. I have found these Moods quads to be a little bit hit or miss. Some of the shades I didn't enjoy, but Buzz Purr and Envy, which I don't have any more, but that's a more like bright green quad. If you're into greens, that one was really good too. But Buzz is my personal favorite. I feel like it's really hard to find monochromatic yellow eyeshadow palettes, especially for such an affordable price. So I really love that this option is out there. The matte yellow in here is really like the star of the show. That packs such a punch. Like I can apply that with a fluffy crease brush and I get great color payoff. I was not expecting, not expecting that with this palette, honestly. And I like the two different shimmer options. One is more of like a chunky glittery, like yellow gold. And then the other one is more of like a pale satin yellow. And then there's also that matte brown, really fun little quad. Obviously not like a whole lot of variety in here because it's only four shades, but if you want a good yellow eyeshadow quad, this is the one. This is the only one I know of, <laughs> and it's really good. One category of makeup I really don't think you ever need to spend more than $5 on is lip products. I certainly love a lot of lip products that are more than $5, but you can find really, really good lip products for under $5. Both Wet n Wild and Essence are two brands that make some of my favorites, and a lot of these are right around like the $2 mark, so very, very affordable. First up is from Wet n Wild. This is one that you haven't heard me talk about before. <laughs> I just, I can't help but laugh at how gigantic this lip liner is. I stumbled across this when I was just browsing our local drugstore a couple weeks ago and I couldn't pass it up because it was like a dollar and some change and I hadn't seen it before, but this is, look, like, look at this pencil. This is like two pencils in one. And if you look at the amount that it comes with, this basically is like double the size of your standard lip pencil. So incredible bang for your buck. I picked out the shade Brandy Wine. I have this all over my lips right now and I am wearing another product on top of that also from Wet n Wild. But this is like that perfect 90s brown lip color. I think I'm going to be wearing this a lot in the fall. I like that this doesn't pull orangey at all. Like it has more of a mauve sort of undertone. Honestly, I'm not hard to please when it comes to lip liners. In fact, I don't know if I've ever tried a lip liner that I didn't like unless it was a shade I didn't like, but formula-wise, I'm very easy to please. But I have to say, I really enjoy the formula of this one. It glides right on. It doesn't tug at my lips, but it's also not too creamy. That's the, that's the one thing. You don't want lip liners to be too creamy or else they might drift outside the lips, which is kind of the opposite of what they're supposed to do. So it deposits just a nice, thin, even layer of color, which is really what I want from a lip liner. And honestly, I love a wooden pencil because I can hold it on its side and cover more surface area that way. So really excited to have this in time for fall being right around the corner because I think this is going to be great with some fall looks, even though I am wearing it today and it's the dead of summer and I think it also works. So the product I'm wearing on top of that, this has been a favorite for a little while now, the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Skinny Dipping. This is a beautiful, light, cooler toned nude, but today I just popped a little bit on the center of my lips to create a little bit of dimension and I really like it for that purpose as well. And these lipsticks are matte, but they go on super smoothly. I don't feel like they tug at my lips. They don't, I mean, I wouldn't want to put this on severely chapped lips, obviously, <laughs> but I don't feel like they cling too much to dry patches. And plus, because it's matte, it has great wear time. So don't overlook these Wet n Wild lipsticks. I think these are also around $2. And I also saw they have a shine version of this that I think is in a white bullet. So it's the same packaging, just white instead of black. Curious to try those as well. Another wooden lip pencil I love is the Essence Soft and Precise Lip Pencil. I have the shade Happy. Now this is a regular size lip pencil as opposed to a foot long, but still an amazing price on this. This has such a nice velvety soft texture, but again, not too creamy. In fact, I wouldn't call it creamy at all. It is a little bit of a stiff pencil. It goes on really thinly and it gives that nice soft, almost blurred lip look that I love. And I love the shade Happy because it's so versatile. It's like a soft red color. And I like to pair this either with like light peachy lip colors 
or even with brighter reds and corals, this works great. I really like this under the Bite Lip Crayon and Stinger, especially if I'm going for a more blurred out lip liner or if I want to overline my lips. This is a great formula for that because it doesn't really give a harsh line if that makes sense. Like you can sort of blur out your lip line a little bit, make your lips appear a little bit bigger, but it's not going to give you like a super harsh outline. Another brand that offers quite a few products under $5. I haven't tried much from the brand though, and it's Rimmel, but I do have one product from them that I had to give a shout out. I've actually had this in my collection for a while, and it's just kind of one of those products that slips under the radar, but this is a really good black eyeliner pencil. But the Rimmel Scandalize 24-hour waterproof gel pencil is actually an excellent waterproof eyeliner pencil. I have the shade black in this, and I even gave this a test to see if it really was truly waterproof. I swatched it on the back of my hand, and then I went and took a shower, even, you know, tried to rub it off in the shower, and it was still on my hand when I got out of the shower. It, it had faded a little bit, but I think it's safe to say any amount of moisture around your eye area probably isn't going to make this budge or run. And I like they call it a gel pencil because it really does almost have the feel of like a potted gel eyeliner, but just in pencil form. It goes on very smooth, very black, and really does have great staying power. I haven't tested this in the waterline because I'm not really a big black liner in the waterline person, but if you're just looking for a good, reliable black eyeliner pencil, this one retails between four and five dollars depending on where you buy it, and it's honestly really good. Last but not least, we have a bit of a wild card. We have a Suave Shampoo. Let me just say, do not sleep on Suave. This is the Suave Daily Clarifying Cleansing Shampoo, and this is the only clarifying shampoo I have found that one, clarifies, and two, doesn't make my hair feel like twigs. And I honestly cannot believe it because this, this shampoo costs literally $2. They say that this is gentle enough to use daily. I personally feel like I only really need to clarify once a week. I guess if you just have like a super oily scalp or you just use a ton of products in your hair every day, then maybe, but honestly, I would probably not recommend using this every single day because it does give you that kind of squeaky clean feel that clarifying shampoos give. But as long as I go in with a conditioner afterwards, which I always do, regardless of what shampoo I'm using, my hair does not feel particularly dry. It doesn't feel more dry than it would if I use a different shampoo. So I really cannot believe how good this is. I, I mean, I've tried more expensive clarifying shampoos and they always just leave my hair feeling so brittle and dry, even if I go in with like a deep conditioner afterwards. But this $2 shampoo, it does such an amazing job, leaves my scalp feeling so clean and I'm so happy I tried this. So those are some of my favorite products under $5. You know, at a time when it feels like most drugstore brands could honestly start selling at Sephora with the prices that they're charging, it's comforting to know that there are still some actually affordable products out there that are really, really good. So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you again to Shop Miss A for sponsoring this video. And guys, don't forget to check out the Shop Miss A site if you are in the market for some affordable products. I honestly cannot believe the quality for the prices that they're charging. So definitely check them out. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I hope you had fun. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.